scholarship pageants since I was seven and what one might call beauty pageants since I was 14. Now raise your hand if you've seen toddlers and tiaras. <laughs> okay, so it's probably safe to guess that when most of you think of pageants, you think of little five-year-old girls dressed head to toe in sparkles and jams, fake hair pieces, pounds of makeup, and if you're really in on the lingo, a flipper. Well, let me invite you into my version of pageant film. Pageants involve an array of acquired talents, such as walking in five-inch heels with a dictionary perfectly balanced on your head, changing from an opening number dress to a lavish evening gown and a dramatic updo in less than a minute, and keeping a genuine smile for an obscene amount of time on your face while winners are announced. However, among these talents and behind the sparkling crown, you might find a deeper meaning. The Miss America crown has four points, literally and figuratively. Scholarship, style, service, and success. This is what distinguishes us from Miss USA, and I bet you didn't even know there was a difference. Both programs have the usual evening gown, fitness or swimsuit, and onstage question. But Miss America has the added categories of an interview in front of a panel of five to seven judges, a platform, and a talent portion. A platform is basically a charity or an issue that we choose to support and spread awareness about. Mine is the African Well Fund. Over the years, I've raised $7,000 just through spare change to build three freshwater wells in Africa. Something else you might not know is that evening gown and swimsuit are not judged on looks alone. We're judged on our poise, confidence, and grace. The gown adds to the whole picture, but I like to say it's not about the dress you're wearing, it's how you wear the dress. After winning a few local titles and placing top ten at states twice, I can confidently say that my favorite part of the competition, and also the part I still get most nervous about, is talent. We're given a time limit of two or two and a half minutes to sing, dance, play the piano, etc. I sing. The song I'm going to sing for you today is the song that everyone in Pageantville knows me for. I sang it for the first time competing in Miss Greater Richmond in 2008, and people still come up to me this day saying, I know you, you're the latte girl. Miss America actually sang this song at our state pageant two years ago, and people said, Miss America is singing your song. <laughs> Needless to say, I did not write this song, but I do hope you enjoy my rendition of it. Everyone has a favorite way to start their day. For some people, it's coffee. For others, it's the person serving them their coffee. But for one girl, it's not the smell of coffee hanging in the air, it's the smell of love. Here's contestant number 11, Annika Wooten, singing Taylor the Latte Boy by Kristen Chen. <laughs> Taylor, which provides the inspiration for this poem. 